Hello everyone, welcome to another video. A uh, little bit of a update video today. I have been AWOL for a little while. There's a couple of reasons I've been AWOL. Uh, number one is because I was working for another company. I can't say who because they did ask to keep everything private. Uh, they don't do public facing repairs and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm not going to mention the name of the company because obviously that's their wishes. I'm no longer working for that company, but I have been working a little bit behind the scenes. I'm working on a couple of things actually. So the first thing I'm working on at the minute, um, apart from doing repairs, I'm still in the game, I'm still doing repairs, all of that sort of stuff, but uh, I just haven't had time to edit any videos. I've been recording videos, but I just haven't had any time to edit them. Hopefully that's going to change in the next couple of weeks, but I uh, just wanted to give a couple of updates on what I've actually been up to because a lot of people have been asking questions. I haven't been posting regularly. You know, it's been random videos here and there. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of things I've been working on. So the first thing I've been working on is some new software. So the software that I've been working on is basically going to be a customer portal and, you know, booking system. And it's actually going to be a smart quote system. I'll give more info on that, uh, you know, later on down the line when it's closer to actual release. Uh, it's going to be quite a while before that's actually released. But basically what it's going to be is a booking system where users can, uh, well, where customers can book stuff in and they can... Uh, get an instant quote uh, and the keyword there is instant so there's going to be rules and stuff which the user can set up and uh, you know we, well the admin can set up where you know they give uh, price ranges difficulty levels and stuff like that you know has it had a prior repair attempt or that sort of stuff and the customer gets an instant rough quote and then they can go ahead and book that in with the uh, repair company and stuff like that so that's some software I'm working on that is not going to be free there is going to be a lot of time and development which is going into that software and I cannot release that for free so it is going to be uh, a premium thing you know it's going to be a paid thing but I'll give more information on that as time goes on uh, but another thing you'll notice as well is I'm not in my workshop at the minute and there's a reason for that the other thing I'm working on is a mobile workshop I know there's a couple of people doing this on YouTube now. I've been thinking about doing this for a couple of years. Uh, I mentioned this to a few friends, especially on Discord, you know, quite a long time ago before anyone was doing this. Um, I'm not saying I'm the first to think of it and stuff like that, but what I am saying is that there's not many people doing it, let's put it that way, because, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a popular thing at the minute, but hopefully we can change that. So one of the things that I'm working on at the minute is I'm turning a van into a mobile workshop and that is uh, not nearing the end of completion but it is fairly close you know of, it's not really that much to set up a workshop right the main thing which I obviously you know had to consider really was electrics and you might notice that I've got electrics in here right now I'm gonna flip the camera around in a second and I'll just give you a little tour it's not a very big van it's uh, some sort of, uh, I don't know what it is, uh, a Nissan Prima Star, I think it is, which I bought. I managed to get it at a good price. I paid £900 for the van with uh, MOT, which is um, basically what we, it's a safety check we have to go through in the UK where, you know, we deem it roadworthy sort of thing, and that's valid for 12 months. But the MOT on this expires on the 27th of May uh, 2026, so there's a fair bit of uh, MOT on it. You know, there's a little bit of leeway for me to get up and running and, you know, just see if this concept's going to work for me and stuff like that. So, yeah, I paid £900 for this van. It's a uh, Nissan Prima Star 2007. It's got 250,000 miles on the clock um yeah it but you know it, it at the end of the day it's a starting point it's an entry point to what i want to achieve which is basically going to be where i'll go out to people's houses go out to offices um and you know teach people how to repair stuff and also do repairs for the public at their house as well because i think that is going to be the way it's going to go moving forward um i do see a few people on youtube doing it and yes i am going to be recording it and putting it on youtube i'm going to be doing live streams um i've got a full solar setup in here at the minute i've got um you know i've, I've actually got a camera already installed one of my um sony zv1 4k cameras already installed so that's going to be used for you know filming and stuff like that i still need to figure something out for an overhead camera but basically yeah i've got a you know a side view camera already installed obviously this is all a work in progress and stuff like that and i've only actually been doing work in here for two days so to say that i've been doing 
you know, work for two days and the progress I've made so far, I'm really, really happy with how it's turning out. It's, you know, it's not going to be some high tech, top of the range workshop thing. It's going to be something where I can work and I can, you know, do repairs. So let's say, for example, a customer calls me up and like, ring, ring, hello. Yep, I've got this um, HDMI port which needs fixing. I can't get to you. Can you come to me? Yep, okay, that'll be a bench fee. There'll have to be a bench fee because I'm going to have to travel. It's going to cost me money, insurance, all of that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, can you come out to me and do it? And I was like, okay, right, I'll rock up, pull up outside the house. I've got all the electrics, I've got all the equipment in the van, just get the job done. Happy days, right? And uh, obviously, that'll be, you know, more of a premium service than sending it in. But, you know, for the convenience factor, let's say someone's at work, they can't get out to the post office to post it, or they can't get out to the post, uh, get out to drop it off to me, stuff like that. I'll go, okay, I'll rock up on your lunch, Ella. I'll fix it for you. It'll be done by the time you finish your lunch, right? And uh, yeah, it really is as simple as that. And like I said, I'm going to be doing videos, I'm going to be doing live streams and stuff like that from it. And I am going to get back into the YouTube streets, I promise. It's just that I've got a lot going on at the minute. Like I said, I was working for this company, um, I was doing stuff. Yeah, you know, for this uh, repair company and stuff like that, because business was slow, I got offered some work and I took it, right? And at the end of the day, I have to feed my family. So, yeah, that's just the way it is. But, um, yeah, I'm back now. Hopefully, I'm going to start editing videos at some point next week and get some more regular content out there. But this is going to be something new. It's going to be like a, a day in the life sort of thing, vlog style. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully you guys are uh, going to be look forward to that and hopefully it's something that you guys want to see. But, uh, yeah, let me give you a really, really quick tour of what I've done to this workshop so far. Well, workshop, this van, this work van. Um, and uh, I'll show you what's actually going on with it. So I'll flip the camera around. I am on my phone camera at the minute. I just dropped it. Of course I did. Right, anyway, so over here we have some storage. It's a bit dark. Um, I haven't got all the lighting solutions set up at the minute. This was all installed when I got here. There's like nine of these LED spotlights. But they're not meant as really bright lights, right? But... Um, yeah, we've got some storage over here, so we've got some drawer storage. Um, this is all IKEA stuff. Um, but we've got some drawer storage that's mounted to the wall. I do need to put some bottom support on that, because otherwise it's just going to rock everywhere. As you can see, it's a bit wobbly. Um, and I'm going to put some brackets on here to fix it to the um you know to the roof or something like that but yeah we've got some storage there there's eight drawers there um so that's pretty good this was already installed uh this was a half converted camper van um and obviously i've ripped out the bed and stuff like that and you know got it up to a workshop standard you can't see that very well it's pretty dark but yeah so basically there's some storage there which i'll probably rip out and put some more of you know this kind of storage or some shelves or something you know keep donor boards or something on there and things like that um i've got my 4k monitor here mounted obviously i need a monitor for testing consoles and stuff like that testing devices so i've got a 4k monitor mounted on there uh there was a 12 volt tv already installed but obviously i'm not using that right um but uh yeah so then we come over here um i'll just give you a bit of a better view you can see a little bit better here as well so obviously i haven't got all of this fine tuned and stuff like that yet but basically we've got some more storage there that's going to be cupboards um ignore the random batteries i had some random batteries and stuff which i was using for testing the uh electric setup and stuff like that uh we've got my workbench um so this is a 140 millimeter by 60 millimeter uh, 140 centimeter by 60 centimeter um ikea desk and then that's just on normal legs obviously um i've got a shelf up here which obviously i'll keep you know um some random stuff on i'll probably have to put something on here to stop things falling off and stuff either that or you know um keep actual tools on there i don't know you know the hot air or something like that uh no hot air is probably a bad idea i need to be able to move that around ideally um but yeah uh, I've got my, um, you can see my camera there, that's my 4K camera, but then we've got the uh, bench power supply, that'll be installed, so I've just put that in there. Um, we've got the solar controller right there, so that's that. And then I've got some plug sockets there, which I need to install some more because 8 is not going to be enough. So I'll install some more, I've got a bag of plug sockets down inside here, which I took out of one of my old workshops. Um, so I'll reuse them, trying to save money where I can because obviously this thing's costing a lot of money. But uh, yeah, so we've got the consumer unit. I haven't put the front on that, so yes, that is unsafe right now. Please don't at me. All right. Um, yeah, but we've got the consumer unit there. 
all I've got in there at the minute is just one circuit, which is going to, which is going to be for these sockets here. And uh, as you'll see from this here, if I just turn this on, uh, I don't know if that's on or off. I think that's off. Press it again. Boom. There we go. There we go. There's the 4K monitor fully working. So that's obviously running on normal AC electrics. Uh, carbon monoxide alarm, just to make sure. Better safe than sorry, right? Um, yeah, not going to have a smoke alarm in here because I sold a few, but carbon monoxide, absolutely. Um, and then under here, we've got a 2000 watt inverter, which you can't see. Let me see if I can get a torch on here. Hang on. There we go. That's better. Uh, yeah, 2000 watt inverter. Don't at me for the cable management. But uh, yeah, 2000 watt inverter and then four, four solar flex, 130 amp hour, 12 volt batteries. And these are connected in a 2S2P array or 2S2P configuration. There is an 80 amp fuse there on that. Um, but yeah, 2S2P configuration. Uh, so what that means is it is two batteries in series and then two batteries in parallel. So basically, or two batteries in series, two batteries in parallel connected together, right? So basically, these 12 volt batteries they make up a they make up two 24 volt banks at 130 ampere of each, and then yeah, obviously all together two 24 volts multiply that you got. Uh, 260 amp hour 24 volt right so that should be more than enough but one thing i am going to do is i've got a spare 12 volt inverter but this is a 24 volt system so i'm going to get a 24 volt battery charger i'm going to connect that up to the alternator and then when the engine's running it'll charge the batteries as well um, and that'll be an extra 10 amps of power going through and then on the roof as well you can't see it but on the roof there is a 400 watt solar panel so it's obviously being charged by solar it's night time at the minute but yeah there you go so it's night time at the minute but obviously you know during the day it's getting charged up by the solar panel stuff like that but um yeah we're also going to have a 12 volt um well 12 volt inverter connected to a 24 volt charger um it's weird but i just want the extra juice and then i'm also going to put a plug outside so as i can plug into the mains power as well if i need to um and then i'll just get some sort of a change over switch or something like that so as we're not you know combining the two different power sources and stuff but yeah there's the back it's not a very big van um you know i'm going to get a custom I'm going to get a custom rug made up as well, because why the he why the freaking hell not, right? Uh, I'm going to get a custom rug made up with my logo. Uh, I was looking at that looking at that today. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll just show you uh, really quickly around the van. Um, you might actually be able to see the solar panel, actually. Um, <clears throat> there it is. There's the solar panel. Right there on the roof. That was already installed when I actually got the van, but uh, yeah, same as the inverter. The inverter was there and solar was the, so was the solar controller. But pretty much everything else I've put in myself, but uh, yeah, it is sign written at the minute, but that's all got to come off and have my own sign, sign writing on. Um, there's Spot, say hello Spot. Hello mate, come on. I'll be in the video. Hello buddy. How you doing mate? Should have called him Moo. He looks like a cow. And you, mate. Go away. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's the van. Nothing special, but uh, yeah, nine hundred pound I paid for the van. So really, really good price. I'm happy with what I've paid for it. Ignore the mess on the floor. That's the stuff I've ripped out the van. Um, but uh, yeah. All good. I was going to turn that one into a mobile workshop, but it needs too much work, so I couldn't do that. But yeah, there we go. That's the that's the update, folks. Um, so yeah, please bear with me. I am obviously, you know, working. Oh, all right then. Spots now. The kitty van. Uh, the van kitty. It's okay, mate. It's all right. There we go. Right. Well, I'll leave you with this image of this beautiful little boy. Um, he's a nice cat. He's very vocal, but. Yeah, there we go. You're right, buddy. But uh, yeah, I'll leave you with that. That's that's the update. Uh, that's what we're working on. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for listening. Please bear with me. And uh, yeah, more updates to come. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.